and in Bean Blossom, Indiana, Heil Trump. A swastika and an anti-gay slur spray-painted on St. David's Episcopal Church. President-elect Donald Trump says he is saddened by the reports of harassment. Stop it. If it, if it helps, I, I will say this, and I'll say it right to the camera, stop it. Joining us now to talk about this is Reverend Kelsey Hutto of St. David's Episcopal Church in Indiana, whose church was vandalized. Also with us is Eamon Ishmael. He is a journalist for Slate Magazine. Nice to see both of you this morning. Reverend, I want to start with you. Tell us what happened on Sunday at your church. Uh, first, thank you for having me with you. Um, Sunday morning, I was alerted by my organist that our church had been vandalized. When I arrived, like you said, there was a Heil Trump, a swastika, and an anti-gay slur painted on the side of St. David's. Uh, at first, I was, I was pretty disheartened at seeing, at seeing this. We're a pillar in our community, and we were very saddened to see it. But at second thought, I was um, excited in some ways, which sounds weird, I know, because we were targeted for the right reason. Um, and our presiding bishop-elect, Michael Curry, says sometimes that doing the right thing is not always the popular thing. Mm. And if that's why we were targeted, we're okay with that. And so, so, Reverend, what's your plan? I mean, I know that there was some talk of leaving it up, letting this conversation play out, not turning your eyes away from something that's so painful and ugly. So what is the plan? Yes, actually, our plan is to leave it up until November 30th. And at that time, we'll have an event for all of those who have um, wished to come out and support us to take it down. The reason we're leaving it up, though, is symbols are what you make of them. And if we decide to look at these and be embarrassed and consider them hateful and angry and we decide to cover them up, then we give power to the idea that hate is more powerful than love. And that's not the case. By leaving these up, they're symbols of hope. We allow those in the area and in the nation to know that we are a safe haven and we are welcoming. And if you're in the nation and you see these things on the news and in um, articles, to know that an Episcopal church around the corner is welcome and inclusive for you as well. Reverend, what do you want to hear Donald Trump say? To be honest, I think it goes bigger than Donald Trump. I do want Donald Trump um, to be more proactive, but I also think that it's up to um, all of the candidates who ran, including Hillary Clinton, even maybe even Bernie Sanders, and our current president, Barack Obama, to say that this goes beyond political uh, divides. It goes beyond religious divides. This is human decency. We need to treat each other with love and not hate and to start a conversation rather than, you know, close our, close our ears and go, oh, well, I'm not listening to you. By the way, we want to mention that Donald Trump supporters have also been the victims of assaults and verbal attacks. Um, they, you know, people wearing Donald Trump hats have been accosted, uh, and we're reaching out to them as well. We would like to, them to come on the show, and we're hoping that they, um, this, is, this was a Trump supporter who was obviously being assaulted. Um, we want to hear from them also, and we hope that they will accept our invitation to come on. You know, everybody has to hear both of your messages of healing. So thank you very much for coming on New Day, and we will check back in with you. Thank you for that message. Thanks, Allison. Thank you.